Yeah. Okay, hi. I'm live. Uh, I guess Joe is having internet issues or something because uh, we had a storm just came through. I'm sitting over here. I just barely about, I'd say probably about 15 minutes ago, got my power in my internet back. Um, had a heavy storm come through here. Watertown or Waterloo. Headed to Watertown. I think they're getting it now. So I'm going to see if I can't change these goofy banners that he's got. I don't know what Uh, yeah, this thing. I don't know why he's got that up there. It's parental advisory explicit content. I guess I'm a parental advisory kind of guy. Yeah. Anyway, so I don't know how long I'm going to be in here. I don't even know if we have a guest tonight. He didn't tell me. Uh, and if we do, I have no clue how to contact him because he does all this stuff. And I just kind of sit here and, and uh, be a figurehead. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know what the heck that's all about. I thought we had, uh, I swear we had something else. This. But um, anyway, um, I don't know if people are going to be watching tonight. You yeah, already can talk to me over here. Not even sure what to talk about because uh, I know that I've been having activity in my house lately. Uh, back just last night, girlfriend brought, brought the dog up, Jasmine. She's a, a little mix kitty. And uh, Put her in bed in the other room in there, and I was getting ready to go to bed because I had to be up early this morning to go to work. And well, <clears throat> Jasmine was in there, and all of a sudden, she just, you know, waited. well, there he is. Hi, did we have a guest that we were supposed to be bringing on? No, I was trying to tell you that, but I was getting frustrated with this fucking thing. I don't know what happened. I had to go through. I reset the modem. I reset the router. Yep, yep. yep. And then, well, and then we just... I totally had to reset all the uh, Ethernet card settings and reboot the computer like three fucking times so that it reinstalled Ooh. all the... It had to reinstall all that's, the drivers. And that's shit. fucking weird. That's fucking weird that that happened. And it was Listen. working when Tanya pulled in. Uh huh. And then she went and turned on the other, you know, the 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 other computer, the the I buy power computer, and and I had music playing and stuff, and you know. I, I'm looking at the time and I'm going, okay, it's time to go to StreamYard and stuff and wait for Mark. And it just said no internet connection. Hmm. But she had one over there. Yeah, that's extremely weird. So I don't know if something got in and changed my fucking ethernet card settings yeah, or driver settings or some shit but <coughs> somebody off. somebody remotely hack you <laughs> it could have happened yeah it could have i i agree it could have but no it, it's you know we had that we had a heavy storm come through and it should be coming your way i don't know if it's going oh, it's it's coming i can hear it it's thundering it's raining see, it's Pouring. See, the thing is, I don't know if it's going to run north of you guys or if it's going to run right over top of you. We lost power. We are our, our fucking, oh, I'm sitting it's... here doing shit, and all of a sudden, everything goes, whoop, everything at once, lost total power. It's on and top then, of us right now. Then when it came back, you know, when, the, when uh, the power came back on, then, of course, I had to wait for the, the modem to reboot, and I had to wait for the router to reboot. And then, then it's like, you know, I wound up, you know, we wound up having no internet for probably a good 10 minutes. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I understand, you know, I can understand when the internet goes out due to a storm, but when there's no reason for it to go out like it did, yeah. that, that drives me absolutely fucking bonkers. I actually had that happen to me before, Joe, where all everything was showing good. Okay, the modem was showing good. The router was showing good. My and yeah, and the computer was telling me I was hooked up. The computer was telling me yeah, and the computer was telling me I was hooked up and everything. Um, what it turned out to be was on the providers in. They were they were showing that the signal was coming through, but nothing was coming in. No, it, was, it was an, it was an extremely weak had signal. issues and caused me to. I don't I know. Think but, that, I think that it, but it could still, very yeah, well be. But still, had, still, one computer had it and the other one didn't. And, and one's hooked up by wire and one. I should have checked. I sh this one hooks up to both. My hmm. computer here has both wired and wireless internet. Like I said, you should turn the wireless off. Oh, I turn it on, it goes faster. Yeah, because it's drawing. At, at that point, it's, you can bridge them. It's right. called bridging. It's, um, yeah, and, and we, used to, we used to do that with older computers and modems. Right. We would, uh, <laughs> we would install like two or three modems in a computer, plug them all in, and, and then go in and, and bridge them, which would be having all of them running it, you know, at same speeds and everything, and pulling the information at the same time. It actually did make the computers run faster, but yeah. <laughs> so I I wasn't here. It was still set up for yesterday. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, they, I I had it removed that one. How, okay, we I know you went in over here. You didn't go on banners, did you? Yeah, I went over to banners, and all I did was, uh, or not banners, brand. Brand. And then you went up here? No. See where it says Insane Asylum Podcast? Oh, that's where you went. Okay, yeah. 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 Yeah, you had it on Retro Review. Yeah, and I also... I also uh, downloaded these two songs into here that I created. You know, the pickle fucker song and something else. <laughs> well, we went for we broke a record last night. We did two things last night. How you feeling, by the way? Any better? Yeah. You sound yeah. like shit. When you call oh, I was I was hurting, man. I, I don't know what the fuck I was going really on. I can understand you for a my couple gut, of minutes. My gut was on fire. It literally felt like I would like I'd drink a bottle of fucking kick-ass hot sauce. To work, burn, and my gut was on fire. And I was uh, basically goose-stepping all the way to the bathroom. And, and, and by the way... You can go get you can go get golf it for fifty percent off this weekend only. Five bucks. Five bucks. Tanya found that out because she installed that's, it. That's that's awesome. I'm saving my pennies. Oh. I got a I got a two thousand dollar transmission to have replaced in my van. Ouch. It's gonna cost you two thousand bucks. Yep. Ouch. Labor and everything else. In fact, they're not even, they're probably just going to wind up uh, um, rebuilding it because it's just as just as expensive either way I go. So I got to figure out where the two grand's coming from. And then I got uh, Progressive giving me shit about my house. You know, they, they agreed to, to, uh, to um, insure it and then here they gave me until the tenth to because they're gonna they're they're gonna drop the insurance well, claiming that I have broken windows. Broken took, windows. Here's what they did. They took a picture. They took a picture of the fucking 
garage. They sent some guy out to do fucking inspection. My roof had been replaced on the house in 2017 before I bought this house. So it's still got about a 20 years there or at least 15 years left on that roof because it's a, it's a 30 year roof. The roof on the garage needs to be repaired. I agree with that because there's a section of it where it's all worn out and the window on the garage one of the the window that they're referring to glass on one side metal on the other side because the metal is a vent for venting the garage and they're saying my window's broken so because of that and the roof they're not they're not going to keep uh insurance on on the house and it's like okay then give me an exception for the garage because that's what you're referring to and they wouldn't do that either what a crack and shit and then i told them i told them basically i said okay in that case since it's your decision i want a full fucking refund oh mr roberts you can't be talking that way uh, the fuck i can't you know you guys are the ones pissing me off you're the I ones like, trying to drop me said, i was like when you said broken window i'm like Last time I was there, I didn't see any broken windows. No, none of my windows are broke. All of them are, have a good seal on them. All of them are in good condition. The whole yeah. fucking house is in good condition. I don't even have leaks in my roof. And even even on the garage, where, where, where the bad spot is on the, on the roof of the garage, which I know it needs to be replaced. I can't have it done right now because I don't have the money. But, you know, even that alone, there's no fucking leaks. No. But no, progressives has to be dicks about it. So I, I'm trying to find another, another uh, insurance company that will, that will uh, do that. Yeah, it, it's, it's <clears throat> you can see with everything that's been going on, a lot of people having trouble finding insurance companies too. Well, the thing um, is, I have to have insurance on this house. I have to have insurance. If I don't yeah, have I insurance, it. they're going to, you know, we we will fuck me over. Here's it's the like, thing with that, though. WIDA is a government. Okay, WIDA is government. They're government loan. If they didn't think this house was in good condition, they wouldn't even give me the fucking loan on the place. Plain and simple. Right. I know. It's like buying a new car. You got to have insurance on it while you're paying for it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Same, same fucking principle. You but, know, whole, but, but that's what that's what pisses me off about it, though. And see, that's the kind of shit you guys are going to have to deal with whenever you wind up getting into a house. <clears throat> you, you know, you're going to have to have insurance, regardless. Regardless if you got the place paid off or not, you have to have insurance on it. Well, that, because it's part of the part of the city, part of the state, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah. It's all city and state laws in there. And also part of part of the other problem with that now is I found out my cousin no longer works for that one insurance company anymore. Yeah, you told me about that. So yeah, it'll be a little bit harder. Yeah. I'll figure no, it out. I, but I got to find, I have to find one. I have to find one before the 10th of July because, and then they're, and then they're like, the guy's like, well, we're, we got to prorate it since we did take it as, you know, a, 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 dude, you got paid $1,400 for a year's worth of, of uh, insurance on my fucking house. Better insurance, you know, they were offering me better insurance than farmers was. The farmers wanted, they jumped from a thousand up to seventeen. And it's like, what the fuck, you know? And all this is is escrowed in. So my it, my payments that my payments I have to pay for my house, those also include a portion to pay my insurance for the year. So, you know, I've actually been adding extra, you know, extra to my payments originally. So that way it'll cover my insurance. And then they go and pull this shit. And it, it, it's just, it's irritating. So. 
Well, we broke a record with our little golf game thing last night. Good for you. Give me one minute. I got to go pee real quick. So, do records. like I did. Sit, sit there and talk to yourself. I'll be right back. I don't want to talk to myself. Nobody's watching anyways. I'll play a right. song. Nobody's watching. Frank. Right. I'll play my new song. I'll be right back. Just chill. I'll play my new song. It's intermission time. Got my jar of pickles, I'm so fine. In the fridge, it chills every time. Crisp and green in the brine. I was getting hungry late at night. Open the fridge to my delight. Couldn't resist that crunchy bite. Pickle fucker, that's who I am. Munching on pickles, it's my jam. Pickles got me feeling brand new. So why are you playing with your pickle, you fucker? <laughs> 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 Do you know how many people thought this was funny? When I sent it out to the to, to all of them that play golf with us. But anyway. Pickle, pickle fucker. We broadcasted last night. We ended we ended the broadcast, but we we ended up with a four hour window. Okay. Our two hours yeah. plus plus supernatural's two hours. So we had four hours. So we, we were on live for four hours on Things Network or three and a half. I ended I ended the uh, Things Network stream so we didn't go over and step on anybody's toes after about three and a half hours, but we went over five hours streaming last night. Are you guys streaming right now? Yeah. So that was like wow. Yeah, we're streaming. I turned on the stream for us. I'm going up there. I'll go up there. Oh. So, yeah, the, it, it's been hard to find a guest. I had, I started on Saturday and sent out the, uh, the stream yards got this thing called Collab. C O L L A B. Yeah. And I signed, you know, you basically, you, I filled it all out and finished, you know, it, it's something that's included with StreamYard for, for, you know, as your package deal or whatever. So I put it out there months ago and I found it. I have actually gotten a few guests from there for us. We've actually had a few guests from the, collab site so i hadn't checked it in a while and and i checked it and it's like wow so i was like notifying everybody and stuff and then i notified a bunch of other people and i had like half a dozen little over a dozen invites sent out for this friday from saturday and nope oh, nothing i figured it's the time of year where it's summertime it's going to be harder for us to find guests People are busy. Yeah, as long as as long as it ain't fucking raining. Well, you know, it's not raining everywhere in the world. Yeah. Well, I know that, but I'm just saying. So, but I mean, I, I so I tried. Always. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and and I found out that we got we're up to 140 subscribers now. Cool. Hey, uh, 
But our, did you see the little thing that uh, StreamYard's requiring or Facebook's requiring you to stream to the little requirements that you have to meet to stream to Facebook live? What? Did you see that? On June uh, 10th, uh, no. on June 10th, 2024, Facebook released a new set of criteria to be eligible to go live on Facebook. One. Your account must be at least 60 days old. Two, your page or professional profile must have at least 100 followers. Three, to go live from a page, you need to have Facebook access or task as access to create content. Well, our Facebook page is well, let's see. That goes back to CCS. Yeah. That's, that's why the email. I don't even know. I don't even know how many fucking followers I got. How do you find that out? And then uh, I don't know. If you go and look at your actual profile page, so that you know not where you post, and you see everybody else post and your friends. It should say like no, we've I got, don't have a hundred friends. We've got two point three K followers. So we got over two thousand followers. Yeah. Yeah. And our Facebook page is goes back to you know, you're talking fourteen years old or no fifteen, I don't know. Right around that time, it, it started when we were, it, it started as CCS, you know, CCS. Yeah. That's what it started when, so when we started that journey. Yeah. And then my personal Facebook I page. Two. I got 121 friends. I had 147 followers on my personal Facebook page. Where did you find followers? Scroll down. You see where it says intro? Uh, no, because... Watch. Whoops. Wrong thing. No, I'm on my... Okay, on my page, I have to... Click here, I guess, right? Wait, that's the wrong one. I got 126 friends, according to this. It says, it's got my name and under it, it says your friends. I don't see anything. It says intro on my main page. All right. Are you looking at, oh, your, wait, intro. Okay. Are you looking at your profile page like this? Yes. So when you see followers, see... You got to scroll down and follow. You see, it says followed by 147 people. All okay. I have is lives in, in Madison, Wisconsin, and in a relationship with Lisa. And that's it. But it says I got 126 friends. But see, you got to be on the post tab. I am on the posts. Posts. It says intro, add bio. Well, then I don't know. I don't have any followers. Have, then you must not have any followers. Nobody follows me. You're a boring person. Yep. Yeah. I'm a boring person. Always have been. Oh, now I gotta rearrange everything again. Oh shit! So, yeah. You know, <sighs> so. I don't know what we're going to do. It's it's getting harder and harder to find guests. Um, you know, I keep trying, but people are, like, too busy right now. And then... Yeah. I wish Mother Nature started fucking cooperating. We could get out. I got plenty of places we can go, you know, that are close yet. I got some bad news for you. What's I, that? I, I I got it. I I didn't get I didn't get the information I wanted today, but I made a delivery to um, 
to nutritional sciences this afternoon or this morning. And the building manager, Bill. Yeah. He he's retiring at the end of next month. Oh shit. And the office people that worked under him that, that I got good relationship with that, you know, um, Julie's already retired and Mary Lou's retiring at the end of this month. So it may be another jump through hoops to try and get in there to do an investigation thanks mm -hmm. to COVID fucking things up for us. Well, and I and really that, wanted to get in there. It happens. Shit happens. Oh. So I figured I'd at least tell you because I'm not certain. <laughs> you know, I'll I'll see what I can do about working my magic with it. But you know, you know that's like how many times I tried, and even with the inside people that I knew. Tried to, to get us just into the basement of Sanatorium Hill. Oh, I know. And it's like, nope, 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 nope. Kept running into resistance. And it's like, you know, we just go to the basement. You know, nothing was down there. The basement was used for storage of basically what was left over from when it was a mental hospital. You know. Yeah gurneys, uh, wheelchairs, uh, you know, shit like that. You know, all that sensitive stuff was kept on top floors in, you know, files or whatever. I mean, it should all be computerized by now, but you know how the government is some days. They, they'll take forever to transfer stuff from microfiche and and paper hard copy files to, and make it all digital. Mm -hmm. I, I I would imagine as long as that building is was what it was and still is kind of because now it's just the offices. You don't have the clients going up there too often or shit. But I bet you that first top floor to two f top floors is full of boxes, you know, with every, all these files in it from over the years when there was AFDC and welfare and all of that. Yeah. Wouldn't doubt it. Well, see, before they transferred down to Aberg, where that, uh, where DVR sits, you know, you know, where yeah. we had our DVR meetings with those people. Yeah. All those offices were up in Sanatorium Hill before that. Damn. So all the, all the public offices got moved down there to Aberg. And then basically you just had, you know, the supervisors, execs and all that stuff up there, you know, doing whatever they were doing in secret. You know, because all those cars and everything up there, that you know, they didn't even have the bus to shuttle there like they used to anymore because nobody went there to get, you know, you to, to apply or everything because everything mm -hmm. you can apply for is online now. And your caseworkers and all of that are down in neighbor. See? You know, so, you know, all it is is just storage of files and management people. But that, like you said, you know, I had I had somebody on the inside. She tried a few times to get us in there. And then all of a sudden, that what was it, last summer, I found out she retired from there. So, you know, shit happens. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know. That's what place we'll probably never get into until it's abandoned. Yeah. You know. That's yeah. 
kind of unfortunate. Man, they have been advertising the shit out of Glowforge lately. Yeah, I know. And now I see why you'd like one. I see exactly why you want one because it does. It doesn't just engrave. It engraves. It cuts. It, yep. You know, you do it all. Between that and the embroidery machine, we'd be set. I'd be yeah. I'd be able to fill up the back of my truck with merchandise in a few months or less if I had both of those. And of course the space. You gotta have the space to use them efficiently. You know, but with all the ideas, just think of the merchandise our stand would have, you know. Yeah. I mean, as it stands, once I get moved and get the space, we got, we'll have, uh, we'll get the cricket running again and, and doing t-shirts more often and, and can koozies and and stuff like that and getting them all pressed because we can keep the heat press going. So, you know, and then I'll have this, I'll have a subliminal printer going. I'll have another one of the, you know, and then I'm going to get another one of those. I'm going to get a couple of those eco tank printers. I like them. I really do. How, how do you like them? You haven't even used it. Well, I've used it with a sublim, subliminal ink in it. So you have used it? Yes, it's all set up for, for transfers, for t-shirt transfers. We've already used it a couple of times. Otherwise, I wouldn't have taken it out of the fucking box. All right, fine. It's just that, you know. And then, and then, then think about this. See, because of all the clutter in the space, you know, not so much space we have you know there's not a lot of space here you know that i know mm -hmm. that but remember back when i bought the little laser engraver yeah it was about you know that square around and probably stood about maybe six inches high right well i still got that and stuff and i'm thinking that thing was so cheap and it's still being sold out there. All right. I'd get another one. Fucking, you know, how intrig you you remember the design it made on the on the coaster? Yeah. You know, that that was real intricate and, and real fancy, and it was like a circle thing with all kinds of, you know. I wanna I I, I figure you do that. And you, all you do is do the, get the wood, stain them, and then you, and then you uh, coat them like with some polyurethane or something like that. So yeah, you protect them from you know shit. You can sell five of them pretty easily. Probably. And I think I, I think I even made one with our logo on there. But it wasn't this one. It was the old one that's like on my T-shirt. That's like on our, our T-shirts. That just had the skull. Uh, all I'm saying is this is fucking. They're taken for fucking ever. And that town hall meeting told me shit. Yo. Know, the longer this goes on, the more they call and contact me to ask me questions or to bring this shit up again, the less sleep I get and the more nightmares I have. You know, I put that fucking thing behind me a long time ago. Oh, don't you, do you, do you got any more proof than the one picture? Well, uh, you know, the only reason I got the one picture is, you know, my mom passed away in 2013 and I got a bag full of pictures. And, and this was found in it. I said, I've got nothing. I got no books, no uniform, no, 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 you know, cars, you know, the, the wooden cars and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I says, the minute I moved out to Oregon, 
I had me a little bonfire with all that stuff. So, and, and it's the truth. I did. Well, you know, I'm not saying we, you didn't. We had one. Well, it wasn't really a bonfire, but I mean, you know, I, I, that we had the this Weber grill, you know, the big round yeah. wheels. And, and I put everything in there, poured gasoline on it, and I started it all on fire. You know, there was a couple of books, a couple of uniforms, you know, and the uniforms had all the patches or whatever, you know, their shirt and that right. and the scarf. And, and, and those little tin things, I basically threw those away out on the railroad tracks. You know, flatten them. I mean, I didn't want nothing to remind and me. I don't blame that. you. But, you know, oh, no, they keep asking for it. Like, motherfuckers, just, you know, it's all over there with the trustee. It's just like, I was just waiting for them, but these assholes keep calling me, and it's like, more you call me, the more you're going to charge me, aren't you? You know, that's what it is. You know, because every phone call they make, they can make it a charge. Or every time they have to, you know, it's a charge. See? Hungry. They're uh, blood suckers. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's all it is. They just want a bigger chunk or to write things down so that they can get a bigger chunk. It's starting to pick up out here again. Yeah. So you're starting to get more? It's, it, it actually poured down for about five, ten minutes when I was trying to get all this shit working. <clears throat> and then it's Okay, down. I got a question for you. What is this bullshit thing? They, they got this thing on, on Facebook all over the place. Hawk talk? What the uh, fuck? How? What? My my niece is in this now. She she posted this meme. It says, "Say Hakta one more time." And What's it's got is that? I don't know. And it's got uh, Samuel L. Jackson from uh, from uh, um, Pulp Fiction holding a gun on somebody. No, oh, jeez. I didn't watch. I've never seen that movie, so maybe it's something from Pulp the movie. Fiction. No, it wasn't something from that. It, it's on other shit. Huh. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what it is. You know, I only pay attention to a few things. You know, there was a guy, you yeah. know, there was, there was a guy we had on uh, to the Graven back yesterday. Uh, and I can't remember. Yeah. Where, I think he said he was from, anyway, he's from the UK somewhere. Okay. And his name's Tim. Before the show started, he was asking me about the beast. Where you road? Yeah. We had an interesting conversation. Wow. That's a first. What? Uh, <coughs> My connection must not be very stable. Why? Can you see the live thing up on the screen? Yeah, right next to it, if your connection goes weird next to it, you get the um, the little signal thing for your internet. Yep. Yep. I've got mine, mine has it. Mine has it every now and then. That's when you see my. That's why I see my my screen go blank or my part of the screen go blank with the little spin circle. No, mine's been doing that a lot. Ah, oh, shit. What? You got people calling you?
<laughs> that is messed up. Hey, where you at? Where's you going, Saint Joe? By the way, who's watching us? I see there's one person watching us. Come over here to the. Come over here to the 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 comments thing and make a comment. Say hi. I had to, I had to Who's watching I had us? answer the phone and it's like some health survey and it's like motherfucker. I, I see. I see. There's one person watching us and nobody and they haven't made a comment. So who the hell is it? Your mama. Your mama, your papa. Oh. But anyway. 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 Oh, that's another thing. What's with these fucking cyber? Ugliest cyber looking what? piece of cyber truck. Tesla cyber truck. The ugliest piece, ugliest looking piece of shit I've ever seen on the road. Have you actually seen and one? Yes, I've seen like five of them now. I got you, you got to realize I travel up to the fucking Twin Cities and all over that area up there. I've had like five of them in that fucking area up there pass me by. And they are the ugliest motherfucking things I've ever seen and they're worthless. What the fuck are you Are you talking you about those that are you talking about those things that look like totally the, square? The Tesla cyber trucks. Yeah, they're like all I was trying to find them. Yeah. I've seen pictures of them on Facebook all yeah. fucking time. And now when you want to find a fucking picture, you can't and find they, it. I, I'm like, and then I, I I heard that the fucking price tag on those things is like a hundred grand. It's like what the fuck are you going to pay a hundred grand for a fucking piece of shit paperweight like that? That has no fucking use. I don't even think the fucking bed even, I don't think you can put anything in the bed. I, I, I don't even know if it has a bed on it. It looks like it's I, all covered up. I can't, I, yeah, I, I can't find that, but yeah, that's about as, you know, that thing's about as stupid as the, 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 what the fuck is that car called? They tried to sell us one in Easton Motors once. Um, you talking about the 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 uh, Kia Soul? Yeah. Box that motherfucker wheels? is a dangerous fucking vehicle. No, you know what a dangerous vehicle is? Is that is that fucking smart car? Yeah, well, that too. But I'm just saying, think about driving this. This is nothing but a square box. Driving down a highway. Good yeah, guess yeah. the wind comes the right way and it's going to tip you over on your side. I'm, we took it for a test drive. Just please, motherfuckers. We knew we weren't going to buy it anyways. But when we were driving that thing around, uh, where was it? Uh, Beaver Dam or wherever Easton Motors is. Oh, my God. I was terrified. I was afraid in that fucking... Yeah. No, thanks you. I told me, and, and still, that was after the 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 Avenger got totaled, and they yeah. had another Avenger on the fucking lot, and wouldn't even let us look at it. They'll never get my business again. But the people we got the truck from, they went out of their way to make sure we got a good deal and got the truck. So yeah, That's they good. actually they actually went out of their way to to and 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 they you know yeah I like I was there for the whole process and it's like I'll go back there. No, no. Yeah. Now, why couldn't it have done this, though, this morning? We got what? The rain. You know, I wish it was raining. Like, if it would have been raining this morning when I first woke up, I would have been able to fall back to sleep. Mm. 
but yeah, the, the, those cars, yeah, there's like, I'd stay away from. Yeah, fucking I, cyber. They, those things look like shit. They look like a piece of crap. Yeah, it does. And 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 the <laughs> other thing is, some of those other vehicles, I'm not so sure about yet. You know, well, I, mean, I know they're trying to go green energy and clean and all of this, but there's other ways to do that too than having a car run on, you know. fossil fuels or whatever you know but to run it on just pure electric or have like a ton of batteries in there and have to find a charging station and wait for this fucker to charge and just to get to your destination and all of this i'm not so sure about that and i'm not so sure about feeling safe in one of those vehicles because they're still technically in their infancy. And what if they start having issues after a while where the motherfuckers start exploding or or catching on fire because the batteries are bad or some shit? You know? No, thank you. I don't want to be I don't want to be the world's guinea pig for something. You know, and those charging stations, do you see them everywhere? You travel all the time. You travel from state to state. Do you um, see them? Here's the thing with the charging stations for these electric vehicles, okay? Um, char was it? I think it's called Charge America um, and Walmart. They got together. Oh. Uh, it, it was uh, Hyundai. Hyundai makes the Ionic, Ionic 5. Okay, it's a full electric um, SUV type car. It actually looks pretty cool. It's based on an 800 volt frame where the Tesla is based on a 400 volt frame. Um, Hyundai, may, uh, they started this company called Charge America. They got in cahoots with Walmart. So Charge America and Walmart teamed up. And all Walmarts across the nation eventually are supposed to have at least five charging stations in their parking lots. You know, the first time I ever saw one of those was at Hy-Vee. Mm -hmm. Hy-Vee's doing the same thing, but I don't know if they're, if they're teaming with with charge well, no, I mean, the first but, time i saw a charging station was at high v yeah yeah that's what i'm saying I, that's what i'm saying the the one here in madison the one on east washington madison right. they actually yeah. have i think uh half a dozen of them yeah for the charging stations but see the whole thing is that's where you can charge your vehicle now if you buy an ionic 5 from hyundai because hyundai owns uh, Charge America, they will allow you to charge your vehicle at one of their their locations for free for an entire year. Wow. That's part that's part of, of what you're paying for when you get that car. Well that's almost uh, like all right. Now you're old enough. You're older than me. You should remember this. Unless, unless Alzheimer's have caught in. <clears throat> but that's almost like, all right, we're a new car manufacturer and we're in town like, what was it? Like Hyundai. You know, they got, uh -huh. you know, buy a new Hyundai this month and we'll give you free gas for a year. They've done it. Yeah. Yeah, so... And here's, here's the thing, okay? These cars, the way they're designed with that battery, each charge gives you about 300 miles worth of driving. And that's that's with everything on. That's with the air conditioning on. That's with the heater on, depending on you know, what time of year it is. 
that as traction control, that's everything that, that this car can can use. You know, if you turn it all on, you'll get right around 300 miles for of driving time, in the, you know, of distance. So they say that's like the cell phone companies. Right. They haven't perfected right. these batteries yet. Um, these batteries have gotten pretty fucking good, believe it or not. No, but I'm just saying, they haven't perfected them yet. I well, mean, no, they haven't. But, like I said, like I started telling you, Hyundai's Ionic 5 is based on an 800-volt frame, where the um, Teslas are a 400-volt frame. So, basically, when you go and plug in an Ionic 5, in a Tesla, say say you've got a Tesla and an Ionic and you park them right next to each other at charging stations, okay? Both of them are 5% left in their battery. You plug both of them in at the exact same time. It'll take two hours for the charge for the Tesla to charge fully. Takes 30 minutes for the Ionic to charge fully. Yeah, well, see, I still don't trust those cars. That's how those are designed. It's the way luck, I'd be made. out somewhere. I'd be somewhere, and there'd be no charging station anywhere in sight. Yeah, you know, that's just my point of view. <clears throat> well, that's the thing. You gotta watch what you're doing. Whenever a full electric vehicle, you kind of gotta pay attention to it. You have to pay attention to your charge. And here's another thing with these, okay? They have adapters that come with them that plug in, that, that uh, they plug in to your charging unit, okay? And then they plug, you can plug a, an extension cord into that adapter. So it doesn't matter where the fuck you're at. As long as you have a power cord that you can plug into your car, you can charge it. If you have the adapter. The adapter comes with the car. That's and part of that's part of the package for the car. It's an adapter that comes with it. And it's got um they've got like this this rocker thing in the trunk for it, or you can have it in the in the car itself for it. And so, you know, it's all the whole thing set up that way. So you have the ear adapter, you plug it in because because the, the plug in, they're trying to get all these different manufacturers to go with a standardized plug, you know, a standardized thing. And if you've got the adapter, it'll plug into the car itself, and then you just plug the extension cord in it. And then inside the adapter, you know, like I said, you get it with the car, but inside the adapter is the conversion uh, hardware. So it'll actually let it charge in the ways that, that it's, it's supposed to. Now, with the with the adapter and not the charge unit, um, your Ionic's going to take a little longer because it's not got the fast charge like, the, like it does with the... Uh, um, the other thing but still the whole thing is it's way better you know and they're 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 years ahead of what of what they thought they were they're years ahead yeah they they've, they've got more they've got a better battery setup in those cars than they than they did back whenever they first brought out the electric car when the oil companies killed it. You know, yeah, the first, the it first electric so car was actually a Taurus that Ford made, and it was a hundred percent electric and plugged in like a normal appliance would. There was something happening, and I forgot what it was coming up this next weekend. Well, too bad that, that things, that it's so late and it's also raining like a bitch, you know, through here. Um, but Madison had 
a, a festival thing going just today only called Music Everywhere. Uh, it was it was the, the town of the city of Madison and Rocker Maxine Radio Rocker had has a tent up on State Street. And I'm pretty sure Jimmy's probably with him up there. Who knows? Because Jimmy's Jimmy's part of it. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, he was out of state. That could be. So, anyway, we should end our stream. It's getting wicked. It's getting bad out there for you? Yeah, likes flickered in here. All right. There's power yet, but it's possible. So, right. But I have no idea what's going to happen next week, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll have a guest. Maybe we won't. Yeah, the internet fun thing's going funky. Yeah, and you're starting to to do the robot thing. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Good night, all. Stay safe. Yep. Have a nice weekend. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. And remember, anything's possible. So later, later, later. Here.